Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is September 15th, the Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows, and I'm Patty Hurley here to read to you today. Our readings today are taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians and the Gospel of John, and through them we are reminded that we are all responsible to share the Gospel message, and Jesus will sustain us as we bring others to him. So let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greek, slaves or free, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. Now you are Christ's body, and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and variations of the tongue. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gate with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a few moments to reflect on the Word of God and what it says to us today. Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, 
that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God may guide us all to curtail the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the created world, that we may promote respect for God's creation and cooperate with God's plan as creation is brought to fulfillment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God may give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of eternal redemption, we humbly ask, O Lord, that honoring how the Blessed Virgin Mary suffered with her Son, we may complete in ourselves for the Church's sake what is lacking in the suffering of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and protect us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Go in peace.